Welcome to Research Hub. If you're a researcher, you've probably heard the term research paradigm. And if you are a researcher, especially if you haven't been trained under the social sciences, you are probably confused by the concept of a research paradigm. What is a research paradigm? How does it apply to my research? Why is it important? So, first, what is a research paradigm? According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, a paradigm is a philosophical and theoretical framework of a scientific school or discipline within which theories, laws, and generalizations and the experiments performed in support of them are formulated. The research paradigm is the framework into which the theories and practices of your discipline fit to create the research plan. This foundation guides all areas of your research plan, including the aim of the study, research question, instruments or measurements used, and analysis methods. What are the three pillars of research paradigms? So, now you may be asking, what makes up a research paradigm? How are they formed and categorized? The research paradigm framework is supported by three pillars, ontology, epistemology, and methodology. One, ontology is the study of the nature of reality. Is there a single reality, multiple realities, or no reality at all? These are the questions that the philosophy of ontology attempts to answer. The oft-used example of an ontological question is, does God exist? Two possible single realities exist, yes or no. Two, epistemology is the study of knowledge and how we can know reality. It incorporates the extent and ways to gain knowledge and how to validate that knowledge. A frequently used example question in epistemology is, how is it possible to know whether or not God exists? 3. Methodology is the study of how one investigates the environment and validates the knowledge gained. It attempts to answer the question, how to go about discovering the answer slash reality. Addressing this pillar leads to specific data collection and analysis plans. There are two basic types of research paradigms, from which other frequently used paradigms are derived. This section will briefly describe these two major research paradigms. One, positivist paradigm, proponents of a positivist paradigm believe that there is a single reality that can be measured and understood. Therefore, these researchers are likely to utilize quantitative methods in their studies. The research process for positivist paradigm studies tend to propose an empirical hypothesis, which is then supported or refuted through the data collection and analysis. Positivists approach research in an objective manner and statistically investigate the existence of quantitative relationships between variables instead of looking for the qualitative reason behind those relationships. Researchers who subscribe to this paradigm also believe that the results of one study can be generalized to similar situations. Positivist paradigms are most frequently used by physical scientists. 2. Interpretivism Paradigm Interpretivists believe in the existence of multiple realities rather than a single reality. This is the research paradigm used by the majority of qualitative studies conducted in the social sciences. Interpretivism holds that because human behavior is so complex, it cannot be studied by probabilistic models such as those used under positivist paradigms. Knowledge can only be created by interpreting the meanings that people put on behaviors and events. Therefore, studies employing this framework are necessarily subjective and are greatly affected by the researcher's personal viewpoint. Interpretivist paradigm research is conducted within the reality of those being studied, not in a contrived environment such as a laboratory. Because of the nature of interpretivist studies, their results are only valid under the particular circumstances of the study and are usually not generalizable. Research studies aren't the only things that can be considered to have paradigms. Researchers themselves bring a specific worldview to their work and produce higher quality work when they are aware of the effect their perspective has on their results. 1. Identify the paradigm element you want to change, what part of your worldview do you want to change? What habitual or hidden behavior may be adversely affecting your research or your life? 
Two, write down your goals, setting specific desired outcomes and putting them down on paper sets them in your subconscious. Three, adjust your mindset. Intentionally influencing your thoughts to support your goals can motivate you to create the change you want. Some suggested activities to help with this include journaling, reading motivational books, and spending time with like-minded people. For do uncomfortable things, you need to get out of your comfort zone to affect real change. This will get your subconscious out of its usual habits and move you toward your goal. 5. Practice being who you want to be. The change you want will become solidified and part of your new paradigm once you break out of your old habit and keep repeating the new behavior so as to cement it in your subconscious. Don't forget like share and subscribe my channel.